peace today I am going to show you how to make nacho cheese rice okay got my pan heating up I'm using my beef shortening and I'm just gonna get some in here okay get this prepared nice and hot So, leave that there. Okay, now, let's see here. I'm going to chop some onion. I'm going to stick these in my chopper. And, um,. With some garlic and some broccoli now as far as the rice goes you know it's like one cup of rice to two cups of water I I always make my rice my measurement goes to in my bowl right up to there about two cups but if you're just making enough you know one cup of cooked one cup of uncooked rice yields three cups of cooked rice okay so this is about two cups. You can half it to whatever amount of rice you need or want for your family. Whatever your custom to, um, you know, using for your feeding yourself or your family. Okay, so I'm getting my onion and my chopper here. Here we go. Oh, you like my bracelet? My daughter made it for me for my birthday. <laughs> Praise Jesus. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. I love it. Um, okay, I've got some peeled garlic here. I'm going to add about one, two, three, four, five cloves there. And some broccoli cuts. Add some broccoli to this. Oh, you are going to love this rice. Just get a little bit in there. It's going to be noisy. Here we go. Get on there. This only has one blade at the bottom, so this piece didn't grind down. I am so asking Father for the Ninja. I will put these back in once I get this in my pan. Okay, so I've got my ground broccoli, um, onion, and um, garlic. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Okay, all that nice beef shortening has melted. One thing I do like to add to my rice is vermicelli. There we go. Some vermicelli. You know, it's exactly what um, rice Neroni uses. <laughs> there we go. This is awesome. You can buy these packs here. Um, these Moderna packs for like 45 cents at Walmart. I've used it. This will be the second time I've used it. So, I mean, they're really, really good. Okay. Just pour it in there. Okay, we're going to brown our rice. Okay. Now, getting my onion and my garlic in here. This is 
on medium high heat. And here we go. You just want to move it around. We're browning the rice. Oh, it smells so good already. Look at this big piece here. Hold on. I am going to try to grind those other pieces down a little bit. And you just want to fry it, brown it. <clears throat> you can see the noodles are starting to turn brown already. That's a good indication. It's about time to season your rice. Okay. I'm going to take my chicken bouillon here and put about six teaspoons in. Because this will feed about eight. Okay. There we go. And just stir that around. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. I'm going to get some pepper here, some black pepper. I have a feeling that phone ringing is my brother in Pakistan. <laughs> uh, he's been following me, you know, he's a wonderful, wonderful man. Helping all the children in Pakistan. The widows and the orphans. Okay, I'm adding a little bit of turmeric here. Not a lot, just a little. About a half a teaspoon. And add some onion powder to this. Okay. I turned down the heat a little bit. You don't want to burn your rice. Okay. Now I'm going to bump up the heat. Now, I'm going to add two bowls of water right to where that wine was. Okay. One bowl. Get my rice down. Okay. And it's okay if you go a little bit over on this because we did add the vermicelli. So, give that a stir, real nice, turn your heat up to high, let me get my lid, and once it starts boiling, we will turn it down to low for about 10 minutes, okay, I'm spinning this around because I don't want the handle sticking out and somebody banging into that okay so it's on high and once it starts really bubbling up we'll turn it on low and we will time it for 10 minutes so I will be back all right 10 minutes has passed I'm going to take off the lid remember let the steam out the opposite direction and I'm going to add my cheese sauce. So I wanted to show you this is the sauce that I'm adding. Rico's Gourmet Nacho Cheddar Cheese Sauce. This is wonderful. Six pounds. Ten dollars. Amen. Okay. 
And you can add as much or as little as you like. I am opening it here. I have opened that can and put it in several different containers. There we go. Look at that. Yummy. <laughs> okay, so that's about a cup. Oh, maybe a cup and a half. Okay, this sauce is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, and you just mix it all in there. All this wonderful nacho cheese sauce with that rice and the vermicelli. Mm-hmm, look at that. Now you can add as much cheese or as little as you like. Okay, I am going to add a little bit more water to this. Just a tiny bit. Because I'm going to put the lid back on. And give it another 10 minutes. And turn it off. Okay. Let it finish cooking with that nacho cheddar cheese sauce. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll be back in a few minutes. This is done here. This is the nacho cheese rice. Yummy. And I put some pepper on it. It's really good. It's really mild. So like if you have jalapenos and you want to chop it up and add it to your rice, you can. You want to do that while you're cooking it. Okay, I am going to serve this with my <laughs> Cool Ranch Taquitos. Here we go, everybody. And you will see that video, how I made these. Um, I will link it. And you will love it, I promise. So I'm going to try this. Oh, I wish you could try it. It's so good. Remember, it's got the garlic, the onion, the little bit of ground broccoli, um, the nacho cheese from Rico's. <laughs> it's really, really good. Vermicelli. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the chicken Cool Ranch taquitos, and they are so good, so crispy, so wonderful. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Lord, bless this food to our bodies in the name of Jesus Christ. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. We have that spicy taco chicken with the cheddar and the jack cheese and the onion and the wonderful tortilla chip um, crust. You will love this. Mmm. I promise. You'll be licking your fingers. <laughs> mm. Enjoy these recipes. Jesus loves you and so do I.